Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the FIC P4M RS350 motherboard. What's included in this package is a video adapter. This end goes plugged into the motherboard and this end in the expansion slot. This adapter will allow for composite and S-video in. Another adapter included, this one's for two Firewire ports. These ends go into the motherboard and this end in the expansion slot. Also included is an IO shield plate, a regular IDE cable, a floppy cable, an installation CD, the user's manual, and the motherboard. This motherboard is based upon the ATI RS350 chipset and supports the latest socket 478 CPUs from Intel. Now let's have a closer look at the motherboard. Right here is where the socket 478 CPU would get it installed and you can install up to four gigabytes of dual channel DDR memory right here. The IDE connections are right here. Floppy is here and you can do RAID 0 and 1 on this board. Two serial ATA connections are right here. The board also supports 8 times AGP. There are three PCI slots right here. Also three fan headers, two right here and one right here, and two power connections. One right here and one right here. The PS2 keyboard and mouse get connected right here. The printer port, COM port. There's also onboard video. The ATI Radeon 9100 integrated graphics port. There are four USB ports right here. Onboard LAN as well as onboard 5.1 channel audio. Within the advanced BIOS features, you can set the hard drive boot priority, enable and disable things like the L1 and L2 cache, as well as hyper-threading technology, and you can set the first boot, second boot, and third boot devices, and so on. Within the advanced chipset features is where you can set the AGP aperture size, also set the onboard video memory size, and you've got a number of other memory options further down. Within the integrated peripherals is where you can control the onboard features. For example, the onboard USB, the onboard LAN, the onboard audio, and so on. Within the PC health status is where you can monitor different things. For example, all the voltages, temperatures, and fan speeds. And you can also, at the top, set a shutdown temperature. And normally within the frequency voltage control is where you have some overclocking options. Unfortunately, this BIOS really doesn't have any. This motherboard has all kinds of features and everything is on board, including onboard video. The ATI Radeon 9100 integrated graphics port does offer some decent results, but it's not going to satisfy any hardcore gamers. I would like to have seen more overclocking options on this motherboard, but considering the target market for this kind of a board, overall, it's a great product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can pop into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until the next time, take care.